Shalom everybody, Jerusalem Jane just having a little bit of fun with my scarf today. Wanted to give you a current update on the situation here in Israel. 4,831 people is now sick with the coronavirus. Today we had the 18th death. Unfortunately, this was also the youngest person who died of the coronavirus. Uh, Tamar was only 49 years old. She had a couple of twins. And when they were only newborn, her husband died and now Tamar died. So this is really, really just awful. So please keep that family in your prayers. Um, Jerusalem is the city where most people has been infected in all of Israel. And so then uh, the next city after that is Bain Barak, which is a religious city close to Tel Aviv. Unfortunately, 50% of the people who has the coronavirus is from the ultra-Orthodox religious areas. They didn't follow the guideline. They didn't stay home. They are still not staying home. And uh, we, you still see them out in the streets. They are going to synagogues to pray. They attend funerals. So unfortunately, that is an, that's a place where it's easy to spread the virus. So we are seeing more police is out in those cities. and. The Israeli government are talking about actually putting a lockdown on the Bain Barak, so we will see if that happens. This is really, really sad because they don't realize that they are they are giving the sickness to someone else, or they are bringing it home when they go home. And we know in these areas they have a lot of children and they don't live in big apartments, so it's really spreading rapidly. On top of that, the youngest person who is seriously sick here in Israel, he's 22 years old. He was on vacation in America with a couple of friends and they all came back being sick with the coronavirus, but he's in serious condition, serious condition and he is in the hospital. The Israeli military is sent out 600 soldiers who is out in the streets now helping the police to enforce the guidelines that we have. You can still go eat, uh, I'm sorry, you can still go and buy food and uh, medicine in the pharmacies and you are still allowed to go about 100 meters from your house, uh, but that's it. That's the guidelines right now. So the police and now also the military are out in the streets trying to uphold those guidelines. The Prime Minister of Israel got into isolation yesterday after it came out that his nearest, one of his closest advisors got sick with the virus. So him and his family and his closest staff were all tested. And thank God all of those tests came back negative, but he's still in quarantine right now following the guidelines. He's still negotiating with Benny Gantz, trying to make a unity government. There are some areas where they still can't really get along and they can't agree. So keep praying for the political situation here in Israel that we will get the right government for such a time as this. On top of that, the police, the canine units, the police, the dog units, is actually training their dogs to sniff the salivas of people who have the coronavirus and in that case, uh, identifying them. This is something that's also going on in other countries. So that's quite special. My visa was just renewed with two more months without me having to do anything. Uh, people with the same visa as I, you know, we have to go and renew our visa once a year, but because of this current situation, nobody can leave their house. So the Israeli government just extended those certain visas for two more months. So that was a tremendous blessing for me so that I don't have to worry about that. So how funny is this? It's keeping my head warm. So I really hope that you are all doing fine in the midst of this turbulent time that we are all living in. I want to end this video by saying, please stay home. Please stay home. Abide the guidelines. It's the best thing that we can do right now. I'm grateful for my little apartments and for the food that I have. And I'm grateful that I'm boots on the ground and that I, I can be the voice out of Israel who's letting you know what's going on. I know you cherish this country, you love this country. Many of you were so supposed to be here now and to be supposed to be here this spring and for Passover and now it's not possible. So it's my honor and pleasure to be your boots on the ground here in Israel and being able to share with you what's going on because you are asking me what's the current situation. So I'm still getting messages and emails from people saying thank you for your videos. Thank you for your updates. And it is my pleasure. I'm honored to share with you what's going on. So have a great day, everybody. And uh, just take care of yourself and your families. 
And for those people who ask me, Jane, how is your, how are you funded? Uh, how can we bless you? There is a GoFundMe page made for me where everybody around the world is able to send a blessing my way. So you enable me to be your voice out of Israel. And I truly appreciate it. I will post the link when I share this video. God bless Israel and all of her friends. Stay safe. Stay home. Bye bye.